Hello, everybody. My name is Justin Mackey. I'm Alex Emrick. And today we're going to be going uh, through a production breakdown for a different kind of love. To clarify, I was uh, one half of the songwriting team and the head artist uh, of this track. And I co-wrote this song with Justin and I recorded, produced and mixed it. So we're going to check it out today and really excited to dive into it. Before we dive in, uh, now, if you haven't heard the track, again, it's Different Kind of Love by Justin Mackey, last name spelled M-A-K-I. You can check it out. It's out now. Um, it came out on September 18th on your streaming or download platform of choice, all of them. Um, so, yeah, before you check this out, definitely check out the song. Um, and then this is going to be a little more relevant. All right. All right, let's, let's take a look at it. Let's do so it. let's just kick it off from the top, I guess. So pro it's probably the first notable thing we have are these two whistles here. These cute little whistles. So let's see what was going on there. We kind of strategically did this to be part of the storyline of the song with two characters, right? Yeah, so the storyline of the song is essentially a budding romance that is rudely interrupted by a um, period of non-negotiable distance, physical distance. Um, and it was inspired by quarantine and lockdown and social distancing. And so we wanted to uh, kind of illustrate that through some of the aspects of the song and the whistling is one of those. Yes, yeah, so we got these two whistles here. And then they just turn into one whistle, which is kind of cool. Yeah, so you can see the panning. Yeah, so we just kind of had them coming in from the sides and just kind of panning into the middle, just into one, one whistle there. So that was kind of cool, just showing that he was on a date, they were together, and now he's alone. They're in both lockdown. alone. <laughs> and yeah. And it's it's cool because that kind of lines up with the, the music video concept and everything. So didn't we we recorded those whistles like together, right? It was like uh, you and I were in the recording booth together recording those whistles. Yeah, side and by then, side. And then it turned out that um, they just sounded best, I think, when I just took two of your whistle takes and then just you know pan those out, and we decided just to have two friends right. whistling, which was all <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Oh, okay, I forgot about that part. <laughs> Let's check out the pre-chorus. So go to a movie and maybe get a little frisky. Don't mean to complain, but I hate to wait. It's not the same when you can't take. So probably the funnest thing about that was uh, these like swinging drums that we had going on. Yeah, if if we like listen to them soloed, they sound completely out of time. And we should mention um, Dean McKee from London, Ontario, laid down the actual like uh real drums for this track and he recorded them in the com from the comfort of his home um but we layered some samples over top yeah so all together it kind of sounds like you can hear how it's swinging and basically we had this sample that was swinging and uh dean didn't have the sample so he played like a really nice straight beat and then we decided we liked the sound of both of them together so we cut Dean's playing to the sample and lined it up and this was the sample right here. Nice R and B. But we just groove. wanted to thicken it out with some actual real drums. So that's a nice blended kit there. And then the sample cuts out when we hit the chorus anyway. So that was pretty fun. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed that part. It gives it a nice groove. Yeah, there's there's lots of ear candy here for sure. Like these little um Tom fills. This is the stuff you don't notice when you're really listening to the song in t from as a cohesive finished mix, but you know within it there's little things like this, which is just a little electronic kit. I call them little tasty tasties. The tasty tasties going to the chorus. So, when you can't taste, so there it is. When you can't taste, yeah, you lots of fun stuff like that, and then. Snap. What did we want to say about the snaps? Was there something cool sample, about the snaps? Uh, the sample snaps? Like the... Yeah, oh. I, just, I just see it on the list here. Was that the, the neck snapper or whatever? I don't think so. No? There's... There's something called the neck snapper. Oh, it must just be this. It must. We must have just wanted to talk about these snaps here. 
Oh, the yeah, next that makes snapper sense. is a an 808 uh, <laughs> preset that I have. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, there so will the snaps. be no neck snapping here, so though. <laughs> were these samples or the... I don't remember. These were or like real snaps. Those, Those are samples. They sound like samples. But they're like, they're nice, like tight pop snap samples. And I think we went with two. So there's one. One tone of snap. Yeah. It's a little brighter, has like some higher overtones in it. It was just one of those things, just layer some snaps and, you know. Okay, now we got, coming coming right off the top here, we got the cool little bass oh. things that Justin did. So, so like that's cool. Yeah, so back in like April or May, whenever we recorded the guitars and bass, um, so I laid down the bass because like we wanted to do as much in the studio as possible. Yeah, right? and just and just being you know quarantined here. Yeah, because this was at the height of quarantine, especially we wanted to do as much as we could, and um, yeah, we just plugged in the bass, got some tones, and yeah. So I got my Fender Jazz bass, and we laid down. We fiddled around with some parts, but we laid down a bass part. And we were just like. You know, this is completely unconventional, but why don't we lay down a harmony? Yeah, and this this part is just the the first fill that kind of kicked everything off. Right. But that's it there. And then like a bah, 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 bah. Right, yeah. Which is great on its own, but but just throw a harmony on top. Cause why not? And there's nice. just a few select spots in the song where that happens. A lot of the bass line is just bass on its own. But um, typically... Oh, it looks like we did it again here. So. Yeah, so nice thirds there. I think those are octaves. And there's the whistling again going back and forth. To kind of show the, the two characters in the song talking to each other. But yeah, that bass was awesome. And this fill in particular was... That was oh, a fun little one to put I together. I forgot about that. Because uh, we recorded guitars with it too. And, so, I, and I think, are these them here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I like to do this thing where, like, sometimes I want to match what the guitar is doing with the bass because I'm a guitar player first. Um, so let's hear that now. Yeah, let's check it out. So you hear the guitars. And then we got the bass going as well. So that was cool. That was fun. I liked that. That was good. Yeah. Uh, what else do we got here? Um, the chopsticks thing. Oh my gosh. Okay. So yeah. So let's let's head there. Let's listen to the chopsticks, and then we'll kind of give a bit of a background. Okay. So this is technically like a foley effect that we kind of added into the percussion scheme of verse two. And so. these are samples. Yeah. <laughs> so we tweaked that for so long did and, we yeah or i did and um <laughs> it kind of has this thing where at the end the last one pans to the right so it's kind of being like thrown aside like thrown to the ground or something yeah so there there are shots at the beginning of the second verse yeah and i mean the second verse goes um this week we ordered in we used chopsticks plot twist called you in and that's exactly where like during the word chopsticks on those syllables you have these like yeah so it's like know. chopsticks plot twist called you yeah right? so this little sound effect let's check it out this week we ordered in we used chopsticks plot twist called you in wearing <laughs> Could you imagine if we actually recorded that, like put a mic to chopsticks? Some people will watch this video and say, why didn't they just record it for real? This just sounds cleaner. And, well, I mean, recording it for real would have sounded probably just as clean as these roomy chopsticks, but we just happened to find the perfect sound. I, it wasn't called chopsticks. It was called like wood fall or something. I don't know. Just wood from, fall. <laughs> from uh, you know, one of the various sound effect libraries. But... um. We had a uh, fill guitar that did some awesome fills throughout the song. Right. You said, let's get sushi. Go. That was our first kind of fill that. So I think it was, I think I did all the fills on a Fender Strat, my Fender Strat. Mm -hmm. And the Ibanez was the, the main guitar. The main rhythm guitar. Main rhythm guitar. Which is this one. So we have Ibanez. 
So that kind of like thin sound, thinner sounding rhythm track is the Ibanez, and like we really played around with the with the amp. The and that's a virtual strat amp. on top of it. There. Yeah, yeah, we we it just messed with some stuff in guitar rig, and then once we got these fills in there, the guitars all kind of st started sounding really cohesive together, and just let's hear like a it. few of those. Let's hear a few of those fills. Ooh, tasty. We got this guy. Oh, and that one, and that one was uh, automated. You did. <laughs> so this is this is the behind the scenes fill that didn't make the cut, cut. in the song, which is pretty similar to some of the other ones. Right. Let's hear what this one was. So that's this oh, thing. Oh, that's my favorite. And we had a big reverb on it. Yeah. And it just kind of creates the spacey build. So let's hear it. Oh, oh, oh. This is a different kind of love. There we go. And there so, are a few different octaves of that. and Yeah, and it, it comes in. There's a big build at the end of the song, and it comes in there. Gin feels new wheels. It's a hell. This is a different kind of love. There we go. But we'll get there in a sec. <laughs> so that's the fill guitar. That was pretty sweet. Yeah. Let's check out a chorus of this and just hear what's going on. Hey, you can't tell. This is a different kind of love. Is this a day? Kind of. This is a different kind of love. I'll call you in the end. Text you. Yeah, so it's, it's got a vibe and something that makes it, it gives it kind of a. Yeah, you might not hear it. A, it a retro orchestral, like, sort of mix thing going on is. The, the brass, like, yeah. the, the brass. Uh, the trombones, the synth trombones, or was it a sample that's actually recorded trombones? The synth bones. The synth bones. These are these. Let's hear what's going on here. We got trombones. Yeah, that's definitely a synth. Yeah, so synth trombones and just br a bra classic like analog sounding brass synth. Yeah, so that Not just kind so of like analog sounding, but there you go. Du, du. Yeah, so that's at the like at the end of every round of chords, basically, to kind of like bring it back to yep. the starting chord, to the A minor. Yeah, exactly. And then just to make the second chorus a little bit different, we have like kind of a swell horn that comes in here. It's really subtle. Just keep it a little. So that's a, a vibe little, right there. A little fun push. Love, is this a day? So soft, but it's like, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, me you too. probably like threw in these little tasties and didn't ask. I me. didn't tell you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, sweet. Okay, so that kind of adds to the to the authority of the chorus. Yeah, which is awesome. Um, okay, so now we got some of the uh, oh the jazz chords with the with the hammer ons. We kind of like slightly covered that, um, but uh, it's just a matter of really appreciating, you know. This guitar part here, and this track that says double is just a uh, looks like a copy of the top track, but we probably did some, you know, effect on it. So you'll hear like a lot, lots of kind of muted notes in there. So funnily enough, during quarantine, I was kind of like learning different guitar techniques, and fingerstyle was one of them. And so I applied them to this song and added all these like ghost notes it was really impressive when justin came in with that part and just had all these it's the, the little ghosties we called them which little are just ghosties. these like it's those little in between between just adds to the rhythm of it yeah it's just a muted string that he was going like that in between the chords and then there's a section harmonics right there yeah yeah, when we comped this guitar and put it together, we made sure that everything was like perfect. Yeah, we had a lot of fun with that. It's, it's like it's like just cutting out all every single one of my mistakes. Yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> it, it, when you play jazz, there are no mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. I love jazz. Some just for would the disagree. Um, okay, so great. Okay, so layered guitar and bass. I think we already went over that. 
Yeah, I think next up was just the some of the percussion. Percussion. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's get into the percussion. So what do we got? We got this cajon in. Um, we got a lot of actually cool little effects going on in the in the chorus, kind of effect <laughs> percussion. So we already talked about that. That's a little fun snare roll electronic kit. Kind of love. Is this a day? It's pretty subtle. So subtle. Kind of. This is a different kind of love. Oh, and then like, like those. What are those? This is kind of the crack sound you hear. I'm slipping in my DMs. Oh no, I'm catching. Oh yeah, we and that, like that. Really comes out more in the kick stomps that we have in the 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 hook that comes after the chorus. We really like took a long time to work on the snare and the kick in this song mm -hmm. yeah to shape them yeah it had to be a vibe for sure and so there's the oh what oh what at that part we add this stomping and it just like adds a little more pulse to it you know like a little more drive yeah so we had that going with um some of the stuff dean provided us with and we kind of mixed it all together to be you know, a real but also sampled at times kit. At, at times. <laughs> oh, little little superstition groove there. Oh, I it's love that. It's very superstition. <laughs> and um, this is something cool that you wouldn't hear or wouldn't you typically wouldn't notice, but that's a super cool like lift to things. And this is just a cajon underneath, just playing a groove. So you can, I'll cut it, I'll mute it. Ah, yes. So what that does is it's not necessarily like the main drum part, but it really helps it like vibe and swing. And probably when everything's together, you wouldn't even. Days, you can't it's so sneaky, really. Is this a day? Kind of. This is a different kind of love. So I guess. Pro tip from Alex is if you want your track to swing, you have to add cajon. And that is a pro tip from Tokyo, from Walk Off the Earth. So <laughs> thanks, Tokyo, for showing me that one. It was sick. It's, I, mean, I can't I take like all it. the credit. I like the result. So Yeah. <laughs> um, and we, we, were, we uh, went over the stomps. Um, okay. Oh, the bridge. Oh. Possibly one of my favorite parts of the song. <laughs> the bridge almost needs to be a separate video, but we're going to do it right now okay. and make it happen. <laughs> okay. But it could be a separate video. So like, how did to this start? come together? We, yeah. So let's do the harmonies first. Okay. So so essentially, uh, I'll, I'll take over here. So I went into um, Flat.io, which is just kind of like a notation software that's available for free online. And I charted out the vocal harmonies to line up with the chords uh, that are that are in this section. Um, and it almost has, because like I have a lot of pop punk influence in my background. And if we solo it, it almost sounds like something from Panic at the Disco or like Fall Out Boy or something like that. Let's listen to it. I found got my bottle in line. Nobody told me modern up would be a hell of a time, you know. I'll try to keep you satisfied and we'll remember what we found when we were lost inside. All right, let's yeah, hear it with it's the very sassy, that's for sure. And then we got the layers, yeah. I'm fine, got my bottle in line. Nobody told me more than that would be a hell of a time. Oh. I'll try to keep you satisfied and we'll remember what we found. That's the third one. I'm fine, got my bottle in line. Nobody told me more than that would be a hell of a time, you know. I'll try to keep and then we got our third harmony. I'm fine, got my bottle in line. Oh, really Nobody brings it together. Yeah, Justin, Justin came into this session and literally had all the harmonies like written out uh, in notation and just like to perfection and just came in and nailed it like first try. <laughs> it was awesome. I'm fine, got my bottle in line. And then the second Nobody half, we have a, be a little a low harmony you know. thickener. I'll try to keep you satisfied, and we'll remember what we found when we were lost inside. And there you have it. Those are the vocals. A little, uh, little bit of a choral moment there. <laughs> um, so we had some strings as well that we wanted to add, and we were like, oh, I mean, that was kind of an afterthought, but we got, uh, what's her name? So this is Joni. Yes. And Joni runs Your Strings Attached, 
basically she provides real string uh, performances. And we hit her up and said, we need, you know, a, a small string section, which sounds I mean, it, not I, I so small. Say, I wouldn't say that's small. <laughs> no, we had a lot of strings here. And uh, yeah. Yeah. So I like, I, I mean, I provided the notation and then she just played it. And here's the result. Yeah. <laughs> very like Beatles like George oh. Martin inspired like it was like Eleanor Rigby maybe yeah a I was bit. gonna say I was like you're right <laughs> and then you throw that with the vocals I'll try to keep you satisfied and we'll remember what we wow we really had we had a, a pop punk moment here yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's like it gets a little get the disco. it gets a little progressive it's cool and um, we have these shots going on right at the top. Of oh, the you know what? And that just really adds to yeah. the... Oh, my gosh. So, we so got, thick. Those are the brass tabs, but it's more, it's more so, you know, the stomp that hits so hard. And there's a sub drop that... And there's a bass hit yeah. as well. 808. This is the neck breaker that oh, we were talking about. Oh, the neck breaker. Oh, we can't oh, hear it. Here, hang on. Oh, it wobbled there a bit. And so that adds to just the, the smack of, you know, those beats. There. You know what? I find got my bottle in line. Nobody told me my hits love you. would be yeah. ahead and of the time. we got the bass guitar. Which was you, an octave. And you hit it hard when we recorded. Oh, I popped that. Remember that? I it was, was like, a slap and pop. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cajon stomps bridge. Now the chill chorus. Okay, so we're getting towards we're getting towards the 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 big finish of this track. So kind of right. kind of when these strings pan out, we go into like a chill vibe. What we found when we were lost inside, but for now we can't taste, can't touch. This is a different kind of love. Really emotional this vocal. This is a date, kind of. And when I feel I'm giving up, I got you in the air, next to in the P. And we brought back this swingy sample to get there, just going right into. It. Can we do? Can we Sorry just talk about that cliffhanger? Can we just talk about that? Uh, that dit, 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 dit. Oh yeah! Oh, I love that part so much. Build. It's like it's like. Let's see. Dit, 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 dit. Mm, mm. One, and two, and it's so like. Yeah, we're talking about like the staccato. Yeah, we did that in kind of everything. The guitars, the drums, they all just kind of followed this boom, 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 boom right there. Yeah, we, we the lined up everything. There. And like once that part is over, it's like this almost the sense for me, it's almost the sensation of like when you're in an airplane and then and it just, it drops all of a sudden. Yep. Or like when you go on a roller coaster and it's like that sensation. I'm just adding all the elements here. And here's the guitars. This is what really helped make it. And another guitar, because layers. And then this was that fill guitar doing this fill we talked about earlier. And here's the gang vocal. Was this the biggest things. session you've ever worked on, Alex? Uh, not that I've ever worked on. Okay. <laughs> but, but but you did mention a few times that it was quite large. It was a it was one of the larger uh, you know sessions that I've done on this laptop. <laughs> okay. Shout out to Mac MacBooks. <laughs> All right. Um, beautiful. Okay. So chill chorus. So just basically like the the guitar finger style. Yeah, and then we had this organ too. Yeah. That is the, this is the most interesting organ of all time because, um, or I guess electric piano. And the reason it's interesting is because it sounds out of time when you listen to it on its own soloed. Wait, did you? It's like. Yeah, it kind of glitches. Um, did you play that or was that a sample? I played it. And I pl had played it slightly out of time, 
But then you had to go back and like edit the I did I don't edit even, the MIDI. I did, I don't think I even edited the MIDI. Really? It's just I had just played it with what was going on with the swinging drums and everything and I was like it felt in time but then when I soloed it it sounded like this. <laughs> And we was like, why? Why does it sound so choppy? And Sounds then when, like a mistake. But when you put it with the song, it flows, and you don't, and it's the timing is correct at all. And I think it's because I think it's because we have those swinging drums coming back, but it's a big swing, for sure. Definitely, that was cool. Okay, so uh, guitar delay. I think we touched on that already, which was just the right that one. Okay, uh, and then the oh the gang vocals. Let's let's talk let's talk the payoff now. This is the last chunk of the so, song. Do, should we listen to it first? There's a lot of layers, but yeah, let's listen to okay, it. Okay, let's listen to it first. Awesome. So that was that was big. And so this. I think like in May or something like that, I reached out to a couple of uh, musician friends that I was that I was close with and just kind of like, you know, said asked them if they would like to be involved by laying down, you know, some remote vocals. Yeah, we got a lot of people involved. In we this did. Track. Um, do we have the ability to expand uh, expand the standard vocal ga or gang vocals so that we can oh these are bounced down okay so we'd have to open up another session okay well check out uh in the description um i'm going to basically like give a shout out to all the gang vocalists there were just like way too many for me to me to remember right now um so yeah check out in the description below uh i'm going to be giving a shout out to them um because they definitely add to the thickness and really just authority and power of this last part for sure so here's here's the gang vocals just for fun to hear oh which you can't hear because can the mix bus is muted but there you go <laughs> And we had Lorraine track this part, which yes, we Lorraine didn't even Lawson. we didn't even necessarily uh, need, but as soon as she sent it, we went, "Oh my gosh, we got to use that." Yeah, Lorraine Lawson uh, of L uh, Lawson Vocal Studios in Toronto, Ontario, uh, also my vocal coach, um, was very generous in laying down basically the entire last section. Um, not just the wo oh wo ohs Also, this is a different kind of love. Yeah, those were done at Noble Street, I think. They, Noble Street. They in came Toronto. in sounding awesome, so we were super happy. I think we gotta talk about. The synths and everything. I'm gonna leave the stomp in just to just to keep the vibe going. But, okay, um, so I mean, obviously those those gango vocals are amazing. Okay, so um, yeah, so we are talking now about the layered synth guitar sax and rock guitar tone. This was so fun to do, <laughs> and it all started with this part right here, which was inspired by that. Classic, uh, classic electric piano sound we had before that yeah. was kind of out of time. Let me said, that's good. Can you play that on a heavy guitar? Yeah, this was like a counter melody. Mm. <laughs> oh, the harmony. Yeah, and that's harmonizing with. Okay, you so. It. So, so one second. So this guitar was the Les, your Les Paul, right? Your Gibson Les Paul. Yep. That's a, that's a Les Paul. Right. Sweet. And so the one was just like a regular guitar, like a lead tone that we drew from like an onboard amp. Yep. And then, uh, we used my pedal board 
And my pedal board has a, a Line 6 M5 on it, which contains this wacky synth like string tone that is super powerful. So let's listen to that right now. Okay, so that this is what it that sounded like finished. And so just coming straight in, it sounded like this. So we just threw a double R on it. Little extra crush and distortion. Just an EQ. And then this is what we ended up with. And with the guitar, that's a whole nother story. So that's just in unison. And then and there's I, one more thing that really made uh, this little melody line so, super cool. So we had, um, I reached out to my good buddy Rakesh Parsa uh, and just requested uh, him to lay down some sax. I wasn't really sure what we were going to do with it, but he laid down this part. Let's go with just sax for now. I'll just dry it up. There it is. So it's just like a little part at the end, um, but it really adds to it, especially with the effects that you added on it. Yeah, we just saturated it, it a bit to get it to hold up next to these very distorted things. So here's what we got for the sax. Coming in right now, coming in hot. And I love this part here. <laughs> that dwindle. So here's it's all sick. together. This is a different kind of love. This is a different kind of love. Fantastic. That, that was a, a really unique part. And there you have it. That's like the counter melody right there. Um, I believe we're uh, scheduled to get into some vocal licks, some vocal tasties. Some vocal tasties. There's so many tasties in this song. I think, I think in particular, we really wanted to, to check out these harmonies at the end that Justin did because they're super cool. Let's hear oh, it. This is a different kind of love. Whoa. Oh, whoa. This is a different kind of love. I'm just stacking one at a time. Oh, this is a different kind of love. Oh, 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 oh. This is a different kind of and love. And then here's an ad lib. Oh, 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 oh. This is a different kind of love. And then you got this one. New wheels, it's a hell of a deal. This is a different kind of love. That was just all around amazing. Especially this ad lib here too. <laughs> Like this is oh. that quick scale down. Way to go, man! <laughs> Love Thank it. Thank you, buddy. Um, yeah, that was that was definitely a lot of fun. That section and the section at the end kind of reminds me of just like the massiveness of it reminds me of like Oportuna or like the soundtrack of Star Wars or something yeah. like that. Just like all the voices, the, especially <laughs> the different kind of love right here. Yeah, these guys right here. <laughs> Totally O oh, Fortuna. Totally uh, Phantom Menace. Da, 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 da. Darth Maul battle. <laughs> it's uh, just that it's those chords that we're using. It's yeah. awesome. Um, okay. So do we ne have any other vocal stuff to go through? Yeah. Well, we took your regular vocals and then we said, let's do some effects on it. So we had fun making this. Here we, here we go. Oh my goodness. And that <laughs> ju uh, Justin just said for fun at some point before a take here we go and we just i just chopped it up into a here we here we go and then just did a formant shift on it yeah and here we, here we go we ended up with that and then we uh, and then we supplemented it with this like sample record scratch here we, here we go. and so that's a fun little you know introduction into the verses which we decided to keep because it was so fun here we, here we go. and this week we 
Finally enough. Use chopsticks, plot twist, called you in oh. wearing sweatpants. My chance to see you again. How can I see you again? Not too <laughs> so, uh, why don't you go ahead? Well, I I asked my sister Michaela to record some of the gang vocals at the end and send them in because everyone was sending them in remotely with um with the quarantine going on. Yeah. And Michaela decided to do a full track of just like fun, funny ad libs throughout the song. And then when we heard this one, oh, when can I see you again? The little when can I see you again? <laughs> <laughs> Which made it into the song. It actually made the cut for the song. We just threw a filter on it, and because um, it, it's it, the main reason is because it supplemented the story. Yeah, exactly, and yeah, again, the story is is just that you know they're apart due to forced non-negotiable distance, much like all of us were going through throughout quarantine. Um, and yeah, so the phone filter makes a lot of sense. And when can I see you again? <laughs> there you go. That was a lot of fun too. Yeah. So that pretty much wraps up everything on our list for today's breakdown of different kind of love. Thank you so much for listening to it, for streaming it. We're really pumped about this song. So thanks for checking this out. We appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, like Alex said, check out the song on your streaming or our download platform of choice. It's Different Kind of Love by Justin Mackey. Um, we hope that you enjoyed this production breakdown. And uh, we're going to play through the song right now. So, yeah, feel free to keep in mind all the stuff we pointed out. Do you want the whole song or just the ending? Uh, let's do the whole song. Let's do okay, it. from the top. From the tippity top. Take you out, we went downtown, sundown, spun you around We said next week, let's meet and do it again You said, let's get sushi, go to a movie And maybe get a little frisky, don't mean to complain But I hate to wait It's not the same when you can't taste, you can't touch This is a different kind of love In my DMs, oh no I'm catching feels, new wheels It's a hell of a deal This is a different kind of love oh, 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 oh. This is a different kind of love oh, 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 oh. This is a different kind of love Chopsticks, plot twist, called you in wearing sweatpants. My chance to see you again. When can I see you again? Not too shabby for a party. In HD, one and her body, it's getting late. And I'm still stuck on her space. Ain't that a shame when you can't taste, you can't touch? This is a different kind of love. Is this a date? Kind of. This is a different kind of love. Can't taste, can't touch This is a different kind of love Is this a date, kind of And when I feel like giving up I'll call you in the AM Text you in the PM Slipping in my DMs Oh no, I'm catching feels New wheels, it's a hell of a deal This is a different kind of love whoa, 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 whoa. This is a different kind of love
All right, bye guys.